Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another video and this time I'm gonna show you guys how to install a brand new version of uh, Oxygen OS onto your OnePlus device if you have one root and you have team in recovery and uh, well I'm going to show you guys the method where you clean flash everything. I've got a lot of people questioning that so I'll show you guys how to do that so let's get started. <music> guys clean flashing a brand new version of Oxygen OS right now I'll be flashing the Oxygen OS version 9.7 it's quite simple there is nothing much to it only thing which you need to follow is this guide which is available here this is the one before TWRP users I want to have a clean flash because every time I get a new version I want to have the clean uh, kernel and I just want to change it because that's how I do it so Let's get started. Now, first of all, files you need. You need to get the full zip. So that is the full zip which is here. So I'm going to install the 9.0.7 full zip and you need that because well you cannot install the incremental update and uh, get away with it if you already have a team in recovery and a custom kernel. So that is the first thing. You need to get the full zip and you also need to get the team in recovery zip file which is the installed zip file installer that is the installer for the uh, recovery you already have the img file you probably already have team in recovery installed but when you flash the stock based ROM or the stock zip file of this one it will replace the recovery so you need this one so that it, uh, you can replace it again with team in recovery so that you can flash matches now Fair warning, I don't take any responsibility for it. This is just how I do it and I have been successful with it. So uh, just letting you guys know what seems to be working for me. First of all, get all the files ready and uh, let's see uh, everything is ready. I'm already on team in recovery. I'll just show you guys what all my files are. In recovery, you can see that I have already gotten my files. This is the zip file which I will be using, the OnePlus 60. 34 OTA this is the version which I'll be getting that is uh, 27 11 2018 that is the version that is 9.0.7 I also have my magis package or the magis zip file which is this one I also have the team in recovery zip file this is the installer all of these files are very very important if you are dirty flashing or if you're upgrading from 9.0.6 to 9.0.7 what you need to do is just follow this instruction so you just need to flash the latest zip file at first but what I do normally is wipe go to advanced wipe wipe the Dalvik cache and system because that is going to be very very important because I'm doing a clean flash I will be first doing a factory reset doing a factory reset will cause your data to also be wiped so your internal data as in not the internal storage but the internal data that is your applications application data and all that will also be wiped so I'll be doing that first so as you can see I am doing that so that is done now what I'll do is I'm going to wipe these three files I usually wipe system whenever I'm doing a dirty flash or a clean flash uh, just want something which I do uh, on a regular basis uh, you do not want to wipe the internal storage because that is going to cause issues so yes that is now wiped let's go to installer now what you need to do is follow this one to the teeth so first of all install the oneplus 360 the zip file that is the rom update file so i'll be flashing that it has two steps as you can see step one is now working or going on it is going to do also a step two which will take some time so let's wait <laughs> So guys, the uh, Oxygen OS ROM has been installed now, steps 1 and 2 are now complete. Now what you need to do is do not reboot, keep that in mind, do not reboot and go back and then without any further ado, just flash the team in recovery installer, just flash that, don't worry about anything else, just flash it and you should be gravy it will be flashing it on slot a and slot b uh, so that it will be patching it so that it, uh, after reboot it will go into team in recovery what it says here is you after flashing the team in recovery installer file you need to reboot into recovery from this one to just make sure that the recovery is not replaced by the stock one so you just need to confirm that so well you can do that now go back reboot into recovery just to know it will show that no you know it's installed because system is not mounted yet so that's the reason don't worry about it just 
swipe to reboot we are recover rebooting into the recovery so don't worry too much into that so yes the uh, recovery is getting into that you press this one and just swipe to allow modification now what you need to understand is that uh, you didn't ask for a encryption password so if you go inside it will be fully encrypted you cannot access the files which is already in there here is where adb comes into mind and that is the reason i have everything connected to my laptop that's also a very important feature now what you need to do is you have to adb flash magisk which is here which i have already copied into my uh, adb folder which is minimal adb and fastboot that is what i usually use so for that you have to enable adb um, side load and uh, you need to enable that as you can see adb side load is now enabled i'm going to enable uh, adb and the cmd for that so we'll just make sure it is detected list of devices okay it is activating uh, yes and now it is on say, side load now what i need to do is adb side load this zip file which is uh, this full zip which i'll be copying pasting that and it should side load and that will install magisk package directly which is here so as you can see encrypted data detected keep force encrypt that is important because if your device is encrypted you will need to force encrypt it so that it doesn't work it up so keep that in mind so with that magisk is installed now what you need to do is uh, reboot system and enjoy the latest firmware without any data loss that is if you have not wiped the data file well you will have that i'm going to uh, reboot again into recovery just to check if the system files are available uh, just for my little bit of curiosity so we are getting into this uh, we will see mount uh, i'm going to mount the system file file manager let's go to system and see if everything is there so yes rom is already installed you don't need to worry about that Let's reboot in the system and see if it works or not. So as you can see, it is booting into OnePlus's uh, OS, that is Octane OS. It's gonna take some time because it is first boot. Um, let's see how it works. So it has booted up and it is asking for my encryption password because because the device is encrypted so i'll be inputting that and now we have a working device with the full latest version of android now if you are sketched out with the encryption thing you can decrypt your device by flashing a by, by wiping the internal data but i wouldn't really recommend it because the pi version of oxygen OS does not like decrypted data so don't worry about it it's how it is supposed to be so don't worry just use this one and uh it will work out really well so yeah i guess that much is it about the video then so we have the latest version of oxygen os hopefully this will answer a few questions if you do have any doubts do let me know in the comment section below i will try and help you out if you have any doubts with it so i guess that much is it about the video then hope you guys like the video please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye